so I've been taking myself way too seriously. <laughs> like, way too seriously. It's Saturday. Tomorrow is um, is the triathlon. And, um, and <laughs> yesterday I had a laugh. Like, I actually laughed. I mean, after I had all my tears and all of that stuff yesterday morning. And I've been living in this, this me, 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 all about me, all about my me, 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 me stuff. And I don't want to diminish that either because I think sometimes we actually don't give ourselves enough space to be in our own me, me, me. Like, we're not allowed to be... Like, like it's indulgent to have feelings, like it's indulgent to have fear, like it's indulgent to, um, to have sadness and despair and, and it's not like, it's not indulgent to have those feelings. Those feelings are there. Okay. So now that I've just given myself permission to have all that, cause all that is, is part of it. I've just realized that it, you know, it's, it's okay to pop the bubble now. In fact, it's it's pretty necessary. I had this insight yesterday. I've got a dear Tina journal where I, dear Tina, and I let Tina talk to me. Um, and what came through, uh, you know, what came through in the journal is that you're not a swimmer, Overbury, not yet, and you swim. And so the thing that's like, I'm, I have made this swimming, this hour long race, hour long race, blech, hour long piece of swimming be like the end, the be all end all of, you know, eight months of training. Like what the hell is that? <laughs> what am I, why, why do we do that shit to ourselves? Why do we do that? <laughs> like, why, why would I take this like laser point and make, make that be the thing. I remember Todd said to me after, um, after I had a third baby and we were going to Hawaii <clears throat> and I was not going to wear a bikini or bathing suit for that matter. Cause I was, you know, heavier and you know, that post baby body, you know, when you're pregnant, you're so gorgeous and voluptuous and ever your skin is tight because you are it's curvy. And then post baby body, you're just, you know, for blah, blah, everything just kind of blah, 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 just kind of hangs and you're just pudgy in places. And I said, I can't, I'm not wearing a bathing suit. Are you kidding me? Like, come on, ew, I, I can't. I look, I look like this. I look like that. Blah, blah. And he says, you love the water. I'm like, yeah, I do love the water. I said, but I have to get into the water. Like I have to put a bathing suit on and get, and get, walk into the water. And he said, um, at that, at that time I was 40 and he said, um, so are you never going to wear a bikini again ever? I'm like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. He said, really? So you have, are you going to spend the next 40 years of your life never wearing a bikini again because your body doesn't look like it did and you're, or, or you're going to let the three minute walk between <clears throat> the, the, um, between the, whatever the changing room or the hotel lobby or whatever to, and into the pool, that three minute walk in your bathing suit, you're going to let that be the story of your swim, whether you swim or don't swim that three minutes. <clears throat> and it reminds me of that because I'm making, I've been making the swim be the story of the triathlon and my mega discomfort, <clears throat> my mega fear, my, like all this stuff. I'm making all of this be about the triathlon and it's not, it's one event and I might suck at it. And so what, what if I suck? Am I going to let sucking in the swim rip me off of the cycle and the run? Am I going to let sucking rip me off of the, of the entire race? No. And then I'm so we're, out, we're having beer last night with some friends. And even then I'm like, Oh my God, I shouldn't be having a beer. Oh, I'm going to like, I just have a beer for God's sake. Drink some water after would you be fine or not. But it's, it's the two days before the run or the race. And, uh, I'm sitting there with two people who've done Ironman before. Okay. So and all of a sudden it puts it into perspective, right? And they look at me and say, you know, nobody likes to swim, Tina. I'm like, what? 
nobody likes to swim. In fact, the swim, we all tend to look at the swim as a thing we have to do in order to get to the bike and the run. The swim is like the gateway. It's not the race. I'm like, really? Nobody likes it? Or not many people like it? It's okay that I don't like it? I don't have to like it? You don't have to like it. I don't have to like it? No. And then it made me think, good God, I've given birth three times. Did I like any of that? No. No. My first baby in labor for 15 hours, pushing for three, nine, well, nine pounds, 14 ounces. The other two babies, 10 pounds, five ounces. I pushed 10 pound babies out of my body. Did I like any of it? No. Was it hard? Damn straight, it was hard. And it shifts. So why am I bringing this up? Because it's time for me to... <laughs> it's time for... I'm just looking at a post Todd sent me. Um, anyway, buddy cell phones. Um, I'm just putting it out here because I don't know what you're taking too damn seriously that's keeping you from the joy and the celebration of your achievement. But I can tell you, for me, I've been making this bloody swim and my resistance to it and how so technically challenged I am and how navigationally challenged I am and how breathing challenged I am and how much this is so not intuitive for me yet. And I am making this be my whole race. And it's not. It's just not. Now, I feel all confident today. I'm probably not tomorrow. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So my question to you is, <laughs> what are you, are you doing that? Is there anything in your life that you're doing that with? Are you letting this sucky bit be the it? Stop it. You could smack me later. <laughs> Stop it. Don't let the sucky bit be the it. It's just the sucky bit. Okay? It's the day before. I feel pretty good today. I'm in the what the hell phase, I guess. What the hell? What the hell? Just get your ass in the water, Overbury. Here's to you. Here's to us. Here's to we. Here's to get wet. Here's to tomorrow. Talk to you later.